At the end of this video, you're going to be asked a question. To really understand the importance of this question requires a level of trust. Trust me when I say, Simmons College of Kentucky is the best resource for young black men and women that has ever happened in Louisville. Just trust me so I don't have to spend time sharing data about the ever-increasing numbers in full-time enrollment hours, retention, and graduation rates. Just trust me for now so we can skip all the data, insights, and research that leads us to this irrefutable point that investments in young people's well-being are the smartest investments we can make in our community's future. Can you trust me on that? This is the story for two young black people, Daryl and Kiera, two millennials from our city who just this week will leave a lasting mark on our community. Daryl, a 26-year-old father of two who hustles to find work, and for him the stress of poverty is little more than a paycheck away. He finds solace from life's pressures by playing pickup games of basketball in the park. He's never really considered furthering his education until now. The responsibilities of fatherhood has sparked a desire to improve the situation. And just miles away, there's Kiera, who is enrolled in college now. I'm actually a sophomore at Simmons and I'll be graduating in May. As well as working a full-time job. My actual major is biology and I want to be an OBGYN. Nothing about school intimidates her because her college of choice has helped create social and emotional resources as well as a support network that Daryl has yet to experience. Kiera is not smarter than Daryl, but she has been exposed to and has taken advantage of opportunities that have not previously crossed Daryl's path until now. Realizing that his current position in life is a reflection of not only his hopes and desires, but also his plans and choices, he decides he wants better and reaches out to the president of a local college. Hey, Sarah, this is Daryl. I spoke to you tonight about getting into Simmons College so that I can change my situation and better my future. I responded, can we talk tomorrow? I want to do everything I can to get you in school. He responded, yes, sir. You just tell me where to come and what time and I will be there. Now here's the question. If you could save the life of a young person, would you? And if you're leaning towards yes, when would you do it? Now? You see, it will never be convenient to be more and do more. If it was convenient, everyone would be living and giving at a much higher level. Our challenge is to be like Daryl and understand if we want a better future, we need to make some immediate and powerful choices right now. There is no next opportunity. Only the one right in front of you. Now. A 25-year-old father of two was trying to apply for Simmons College the day he was shot and killed. And that, according to the president of the school, instead of us mourning a man, we should be enrolling a man in college. Cosby says King regularly attended St. Stephen Church and would have gotten a scholarship to Simmons College. But that's the path that he was, he was going to uh, travel to success, unfortunately. Um, it's not to be because someone took his life so tragically. Believe me when I tell you that it's the power of now that transforms this video from one of sadness to one of celebration. As mourners gathered at the homegoing service for Daryl, President Kevin Cosby, exhibiting the spirit of now, called for all who wanted to change their life like Daryl to come forward. He announced the installation of the Daryl King Memorial Scholarship to all those willing to carry the torch for Daryl. In response to the group of young people who made the decision to turn their life around and commit to changing their life and improving their future by furthering their education, Dr. Cosby said, we've got you now.